If you don't say you spent money, Sim thinks that's not lying. Yeah. yeah. So if I don't say that I have a credit card and you don't uh, uh, directly say, do you, you have, have a, a credit, credit card, card, I don't think that that's She's lying. never lied about it. <laughs> At what point in your relationship did you start having serious conversations about money? I would think that our serious conversations about money started relatively early and that's because we got into the real estate investment game early. We never really have had a serious conversation about money. <laughs> it just is. It just, I mean, it just is. Pretty early I'd yeah. say, right? Like, yeah, yeah, fairly early. Because you had already owned a house and sold yeah. a house by the time we'd met, and I was like, oh, that's that's really serious, like big adult stuff. Yeah. And we were only 26 or 25. Can you have a successful relationship with someone even when money goals or values don't align? Well, I think it would be hard to have a successful relationship, though. It can cause a lot of tension and fighting, and yeah. I'd, I don't like fighting over money. You can have a successful one that be money issues all the time though. <laughs> yeah, I think you can. When we first got together, our money goals and values did not align at all whatsoever. He's the most conservative man on the planet and I am not. Deal or deal breaker? You found out your partner is drowning in debt. <laughs> well, I would be frustrated, <laughs> but I would also I feel like it's part of my obligation to try and mitigate that debt help, and yeah. help. That, would, that wouldn't be a nice surprise. That would be a deal breaker for you. Because it, it would indicate that um, there was a broken trust. <laughs> I'd suggest that's a deal. Don't really, <laughs> don't really worry about that. I mean, if you were with, with someone you, know, you, you wanted to be with, I don't think you'd ever call it off because they're drowning in debt. I think you'd want to work with them to, to get them out of it. Is it ever okay to ask your partner to repay the money they owe you? That's well, never come up. It's never come up because in our situation that doesn't happen because it's it's a joint fund as such, the joint bucket of cash. Surely there'd be circumstances where it's okay, right? Yeah, oh, for sure. Yes, but again, it depends on how you set up your finances yeah. because um, that would assume that you have separate accounts. accounts. Have you ever felt uncomfortable talking about money with your partner? No. And I talk about money with you daily, hourly, minutely. Yes. And it frustrates you. No. Not uncomfortable. No. I just sometimes have to come up with a good, good reason. enough reason to buy certain things. <laughs> Not really. <sighs> Neither. How do you handle money disagreements? We talk about it until there is not a problem anymore, I think, really. I think if there was a disagreement, whoever's wanting to spend the money just provides their justification of what yeah. it is and then you just flesh it out until you get to a result. Mm -hmm. We do have some disagreements with how we spend money yeah. every now and then. Yeah, like with the dog stuff, when you want to buy like a million bandanas. <laughs> I mean, how many, how many bandanas can a dog wear? I don't know. Yeah. One at a time. One at a time. So I don't know if we need a full wardrobe of bandanas. How do you handle it? You just say it as it is. We just, we just talk about it. Um, I mean, we've, we've got the benefit of being together for a really long time. Signing a prenup before getting married smart or a dangerous move? Oh, it's smart. I mean, you can't argue it's not smart. Right. But whether like, would it's... Would you do it? Yeah. Like, we're, in we're, theory, it's correct. a lot easier than in practice. And again, it comes back to, I don't know, if you're already thinking of a prenup... Yeah. Yeah, like, how strong is the potential relationship? Depends when you get married, when you're young and don't have money. Yeah. <laughs> Look, if you had a lot of wealth behind you to begin with, maybe something, but yeah, it's never been something that we don't worry about. I, I would think if you're signing a prenup before you get married, you've got troubles already. So, well, it would all depend if we had won the hundred million dollar jackpot before we got married. <laughs>